What causes premature ejaculation? We're gonna get you some solid answers. Well, hello and welcome. My name is Erica Angelo, and I'm the dating and relationship expert that men come to from all over the world to help them become the kind of man she can't resist while not losing yourself or her. And today I have a special guest and we're going to tackle this very difficult, very shameful conversation that most men struggle with, but don't want to talk about. We're going to create a safe place, but we're not only going to create a safe place for you to talk about this or to expose us, but also give you some solid answers. Alex, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. This is my second time having uh, Alex on. We're also going to do a follow-up video of not only uh, what causes this, this is what we'll discuss here, but then we're going to do another video to teach you how to stop coming so fast. So Alex, let's just get into this. Like this, this topic, premature ejaculation is not a light topic. Like for this, this causes men a lot of pain. There's a lot of shame when you're with your wife or you're with a beautiful woman and you want to show her that you're in love with her, that you appreciate her. And then all of a sudden you just, you're about, you're getting into it and then boom, you come. It creates such uh, an awkwardness between the couple, but also questions as a woman like, like, what is it about me? Because I think it's an innate thing as human beings where we just want to blame ourselves. So the woman goes, mm. what is it about me? Why can't he last? And the man's thinking, shit, why, what's wrong with me? Why am I doing this? There's so much that goes on here and it creates so much friction and disharmony and, and, and tension in relationships. What causes this? Yeah, there, there are a lot of things that cause this and there are a lot of negatives that come around it whether you're in a relationship whether you're married or whether you're single you know with when you're single it could be avoiding intimacy altogether right really? and that is just fear of love fear of letting a woman down fear of her maybe talking bad about you to her friends mm -hmm. and and ridiculing you behind your back and ultimately, the biggest fear, which is that no one's going to want to be with us. Oh. oh. So for single guys, yeah, that, that's at the core of it, you know? It's like, if I can't please her, she's not going to want to be with me. Mm -hmm. And I'm never going to find love. Wow, that is, that's heavy. That's it's heavy. really heavy. And, and it, one of the biggest side effects of premature ejaculation is, you know, avoidance of intimacy is one but the other is depression, mm -hmm. you know? When you can't have that connection with another person, you can't have love with a woman, yeah. it's horrible, yeah. you know? You feel alone, and, and a lot of the guys that I talk to before they work with me, they're like, I was just kinda, kinda giving up, you oh. know? Like, I, I'm just throwing in the towel on, on finding a partner and, and dating in general, and just like, thinking of how I'm gonna live my life without it, you know, just writing it off completely. How am I going to live my life alone? Yeah. Yeah. Oh and gosh. of course that's really sad and nobody wants that. You know, we all as human beings, we want love. Yeah. Right. And we want to give love too. Yes. So when we're married or have a relationship, it's the same fears, you know, it's like, well, if I can't please my partner, she's not going to want to be with me. And she's, she's gonna, gonna stop loving she's me. She's gonna leave me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that same pattern of I'm not good enough and I'm not worthy of love and this anxiety just perpetuates. And of course, that's just not sexy to a woman. No. You know, when a man is not feeling him, his true self and he's worried about what she's gonna think, it's, it's not a good look. Yeah. I have to say one thing that when when a man does do this, the worst thing that a man can do is start beating himself up and berating himself mm -hmm. in one of these situations. When a woman's there and, and he does premature ejaculate, uh, when a man starts berating himself, what's wrong with you? He start, I, you know, men start yelling at themselves. Why can't you get this? That is the worst thing that a guy can mm. do because, you know, I think as a woman, we still want to see you, even though we all know in that, and we, meaning the two people in that bedroom, know that it's an awkward situation. But what makes it worse is when a guy 
vocally starts starts coming down on himself and verbalizing that. And as a woman, we want to see you go, okay, well, shit, didn't work that time, but you know what? I'm going to make it work the next time. And that's when guys come to you so that they can actually fulfill that promise to her instead of it just being spoken words of, I'm going to change this. You're the guy that people come to so that this actually does get changed so that when he looks at that girl confidently and says, okay, Erica said, be confident, be cool. I'm going to get this resolved. When that moment happens, that's when you want to give Alex a call because I think so many men in this predicament, they're really lost. And because men don't feel safe to talk about this, they start turning to doctors and then it's like, let's get you on drugs. And like for mm -hmm. some men, they don't want that option. They know that there's something underneath that's going on. And you're really able to help men like understand specifically what's going on inside of them so that they can biologically or physically correct this once you correct what's going on inside, right? Yeah, exactly. And so many men, they don't even feel comfortable talking to their doctor about it. Wow. Like 80% of men don't feel comfortable telling their physician that they have premature ejaculation. Yeah. So they just don't feel like they can be helped. And then, okay, you can't talk to it to your doctor. Mm -hmm. You can't, you don't feel comfortable talking to it to other men. Yeah. So they don't feel like they have anyone. Yeah. And when they're able to connect with me, whether it's through, you know, a video like this or mm -hmm. different ways that they connect with me and find out about me, it's like, oh my God, someone yeah. can help me. Absolutely. You know, and through all the men that I've helped and, and all of the success stories that I've had where guys have literally gone from mm -hmm. their lasting less than one minute and now they're giving their wife multiple orgasms, wow. it's like literally a game changer. Right. You know, it, it's certain guys who even after one, two months, it's changed their life completely wow. and, and how they can show up for their partner, how they can show up for their kids in some uh, instances. Mm -hmm. It's... It's really beautiful. So just to kind of recap, it's it's an avoidance of intimacy. It's what else that causes premature ejaculation? Well, yeah. So what's causing it is the anxiety okay. and the stress. Okay. And it can be around any one of those topics. Okay. It could be, you know, the root of it could be way deeper. But mm -hmm. maybe on the surface, it's just, I am afraid I can't pleasure my partner. Yeah. And because I feel like I can't pleasure my partner, I feel like I'm gonna come too quickly, mm. and that stress perpetuates the problem, so then they come even faster. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for like, like bringing some clarity around this, and, and primarily why we wanted to share this video is because I know this is such a shameful topic for a lot of you men, and I don't want you to feel alone. I don't want you to feel isolated, and I don't want you to feel lost in this. So know that there are answers. Be sure we're gonna put all of Alex's contact details on this video. We're gonna put it in the description and in the comments so that you guys can contact him. But listen, you don't have to go at this alone. There is someone who understands exactly where you are, uh, and not only has he worked with men, in the same exact situation that you're in, but he's able to get you on the other side. So do not hesitate. Make sure that you reach out to him today. Alex, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're Appreciate so it. welcome. And guys, remember, you have what it takes. And know in this very moment, my darling, you are already loved. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.